So the next level call. This is a urethane rubber. Now our next generation calls we've had for several years now, they are a silicone based rubber. This is a little different. Um, it acts different, it dries quicker. It's definitely harder to work with. But with the urethane rubber, you don't get any kind of a smell. With the uh, original next gens, uh, we had a few people complain about the smell. Not a lot, but a few, and it you know made me think about it. You could go like this, smell it, it smelled like a tire, because basically that's the kind of material that it was, same thing the tire is made out of. So with these, with the urethane rubber, you don't get any smell, and if you do, it's very, very, very little. So there's not that strong odor like some of those original next gens had. Um, the mouthpiece is more of a rigid, Okay, it's more of a, the density of about, I think probably about 80%. Um, you can still squeeze it, and it's got a little mobility, but still rigid, so it's gonna hold this O-ring adapter in there tight. The inserts are about 20% more flexible than the mouthpieces, and compared to a next gen, they're more flexible than a next gen too. So they are more flexible, easier to manipulate, pull down, move those sounds around. Uh, that's why I didn't put a hole in them either. So, and I wanted a cleaner look. So anyway, you can push down on them, get some sounds, what have you. The surface of these calls is actually a lot softer in your hand. Now the next gen is almost kind of had like a feather look to them. These ones here are just kind of almost, they almost look like sandblasted look. They're kind of a rough texture, but they're super soft in your hand. Um, it's, a, it's a crazy feel. It's not like anything else you felt before, and it feels really good. Wintertime, we were using them quite a bit and they didn't even get cold to the touch, which is kind of nice if you're hunting negative 20 degree wind chills, you can grab your call and it's not frozen. Every set of guts um, that I send out will have a mark on them showing the original tune line from me. Now, I'm not saying get your call and mess with it and tinker with it, but a lot of guys do. You're out drinking some beers, hanging out in your buds, you start flipping reeds, pulling stuff apart, you can't get it back to normal. Well, all of our guts and all of our calls have a mark on them to at least get you back to the general area of where the call was when you got it. Now we're going to talk a little bit about, about these flex guts. These flex guts are a flexible material. Um, they have give to them. You can take them and bend them. You can squeeze them and make them look really odd shaped. I don't necessarily uh, say you should do that. I'm just showing you what this material is capable of doing and showing you that it's a softer material. So when that reed hits down in that tone trough, it's gonna make a softer sound. It's gonna be a more lifelike goose sound. Because as I've said several times before, the inner part of a goose's throat, air cavity, where the sound's coming from, nothing hard about it. It's softer, pliable, elastic. And this gun will always go right back to its original molded shape. Now, I don't say get the call and start bending it and messing with it, because you're probably gonna mess it up and knock it on the tune. But just so you know, that's what these guts can do. They are rigid to the touch, but they are also flexible when manipulated, and they're made from a softer material. You can do the old tooth check on it, touch the end of it, and you can see that it's a softer material. Yes, it's still plastic, but it's a flexible plastic. It is a urethane polymer, um, and these are all hand molded right here in the shop. Um, the look of them, it's just kind of a clear bourbon color, I call them the bourbon flex guts. In the center part of the tone trough, um, it kind of looks like the, a goose's tongue, and I didn't do it because it looked like a goose's tongue. I did it to create some rigidity in this call. When you have a flexible material, a lot of times, you have a lot of give, and I didn't want these guts to come loose in your call. So I had to put some rigidity lines in there, uh, make the back side of the tone trough stronger, and it helps just hold everything in place, gives the back side of the guts a little bit more rigidity so it stays in place in your call. Also, on every call we send out, um, every next level call we send out, I put a little bit of this E6000. A lot of guys ask me about it. I don't even know where it came up, but it's E6000. It's like a material adhesive. It's not a super glue. I made a mistake by putting super glue on a couple of my first ones, and you can't get that shit out, and your guts break, and it's a total pain. But this stuff here is a flexible material. It will hold your guts in place. But if you want to retune it, or if you want to mess with it, you can actually just twist the guts, and it'll pull right out. So it's not something that's gonna hold it there permanently, but it is something that'll help hold it in place uh, during shipping and during travel when you're hunting, bouncing around your bag. Because guts do come loose, and if it's somebody like me, my lanyard, if my guts come loose, I can just fix them real quick. But a lot of you guys uh, 
don't know how to retune your calls quickly and you have to mess with them quite a bit. So just keep that in mind. They'll all have a line on them to where they're tuned for me to get you back to the normal spot and they'll also have this E6000 around the guts just to hold it in place. It's not guaranteeing anything. Things can still come loose, but the chances are a lot slimmer and a lot lower when I add this E6000. Just helps it stay in there and it's nice. You know, winter time, we used to run those uh, aluminum O-ring adapters. When they get cold on those, those things would kind of open up and the guts would fall out. So we've switched back to a Delrin plastic um, or urethane plastic, some of these are made out of, and it's better. It doesn't, uh, the coldness and warmness doesn't affect it as much, uh, but it still does, like anything. You're outside hunting negative 20, or you're outside when it's 90, it affects any man made material. It's just the way it is. <laughs> so that's a little bit on the guts and why I made them and what kind of what they're made out of. Now they're done in here in the shop, molded one at a time. The original gut. Uh, the flex gut is molded after my blue guts, my red, white, and blue guts. This blue tone channel, this blue tone channel, we've had for I don't even know four, five, six years, and this has been my go-to gut. It's very broken. Um, it's from my old contest clucker guts I've used a long, long time, and the reed after many, many years slapping it has created a nice groove in there. And these things, to me, man, they sound like a goose. You can get all the different sounds. You can manipulate it and it really sounds like a goose. So I wanted to take this basic design, the clucker gut, super broke in, and make it out of a different material because this blue gut, the red, white, and blue guts, is going to be very loud. It's going to have snap. It's going to have power and pop. Um, I still use a call with the blue guts on my lanyard, but on the other call, I run these new flex guts. The flex guts are different. They're not going to be for everybody. If you blow this call with flex guts and you just pick it up right out of the package from me and start blowing on it, hammering on it, you're probably going to stick it and you're going to say, what the hell did I buy? These guts are not for everyone. These guts are for the person that is disciplined and has good air control. They're not, they don't take a lot of air pressure to roll over. <laughs> But they do take discipline and correct air pressure. You don't want to push too much air in it and jump on it, try to get it loud. <laughs> it's not going to work. These guts are not made for that. Now, these red, white, and blue guts, I think that's what these are. The red, white, and blue guts, you can jump on them. <laughs> Maybe not those because they're not tuned. But the whole point is, the oh yeah, it's not tuned at all. But these uh, flex guts, they're made for finesse. They're made for goosey sounds, uh, definitely good on calm days, over water especially, or if you're on the X, you're where the birds are coming, you don't need to necessarily give them a ton of volume and blow them out of there. <laughs> Red, white, and blue guts are going to be louder, going to have more power, and more pop. But the flex guts are going to be goosier, they're going to be a lot softer, a little easier to blow, but you've got to have discipline. <laughs> If you're a beginner caller and you want to get one of these next level calls, great. But I would suggest getting the original gray guts, or if you're brand new and you're a rookie, I'm offering the rookie stock guts in these as well too. Because you have this one call right here, you have this call for the rest of your life. The better you get at goose calling, each year, you can change the tune, you can change the guts out. Whether you send it to me, or you buy a set of guts and I send them to you, and you try to retune it yourself, whatever works, you can advance yourself just by changing the guts. The sound of every goose call, no matter if it's mine or anybody else's, is coming from the guts and the reed and the way it's tuned. Okay, so that's a big part of it. When you have uh, other call companies that are just having kids tune their calls, or guys that are duck callers tune their calls, you don't get the same effect as you do when you got somebody like me or whoever. There's a couple other guys that tune them calls themselves, champion callers, and they tune them goose calls themselves, the goose calls themselves, and boy, you really notice a difference. So when you have the right guy behind the call actually tuning them, touching every one of them, that's important, and that's where your sound's going to come from. So you can get these calls with all the guts in them. Here's one with, I blew this one outside. It's got the gray guts. <laughs> It's 
going to be softer, it's going to be easier, but man, very, very user friendly. When you have those flex guts, if you want to jump to them, now I'm trying, I'm just now starting to fill orders on them. When you jump to the flex guts, you just got to know that it's different. You need to be open-minded. You may have to blow the call for blow the call for a week or two to get the different style of it. Like me, when I go from picking up that call with the stock guts into picking up this, I mean, it's totally different. You got to kind of just stop, regroup, and your tongue may have to be different. You have to control your air pressure different. But man, if you want to sound like a goose and set yourself apart from everybody else, then I would go with the flex guts. If you can control it and work it right. So some of the sounds I could, this is the big kahuna. I think outside you can really tell, but inside, I don't know, I got fans going, I don't think it's a mess. Outside you had some wind noise, so it was kind of like a real situation, um, like you're hunting. We're not hunting in the shop. But in here you can really tell what the call sounds like. The reason I'm just doing basic clucks there, clucks and honks, because I want you guys to try to hear the difference in the sound in the octave. When you start going crazy and doing all the other notes, which these calls can do, as long as you can control your air, you can't really hear the exact sound, the octave, the pitch of that call. contest calls. I don't make anything that has to do with contests anymore. Even though I got where I'm at from contests and I have a ton of respect for them, I make calls for killing. Big difference. Not for your shelf, not for contest stage, for killing geese. So if you stick it when you're out hunting, <laughs> goose probably isn't going to hear that, especially if you got your buddies out there. Sticking it happens. But with this call, you just got to control your air. You don't blow too hard. A lot of times I know last year when I was blowing the call, I try to jump on it to turn the geese around, and it's just, it's not meant for that. It kind of maxes itself out. That's when you want to switch to um, some with the red, white, and blue guts to have you a little more power. <laughs> you try doing that with a set of these flex guts, you can do it, but you're not going to have the pop and you're not going to have the volume. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell the difference on the phone or on the camera, I hope, but you're not really going to understand the whole idea of the call, sound of the call, the feel of the call until you get one for yourself and hold it. So, what's this one? Oh yeah, that's great. So this is the Grey Guts, same thing as the Mr. Big. It's going to be the most user friendly, it's going to roll for you. It's not going to have a ton of range. You can still do all the notes, but it's not going to have that true goosey sound like the flex guts or the red, white, and blue guts. But if you're a beginner, or you're just a guy that likes a call that's easy to blow and very forgiving, then you're gonna want the gray guts. Here's one with the flex guts. You can just hear the different scratchiness, um, the hollowness that this call has. And it's not from the material, it's from the gut itself and the way it's tuned with the thin reed. Now, does this material help with the sound? Yeah, sure, I think it helps. It doesn't hurt it any. It definitely tones the sound down and takes away that loud echo. But you could put these guts into an acrylic call or a wood call or whatever, you're still gonna have a different sound because it's coming from here. Again, these for durability, but it doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't hurt giving that goosey sound either. 
You can see I stuck it there one time. If you don't, if you cover this up too much, don't let that air get out. You put too much pressure in there, sometimes that reel lock up on these flex guys. Uh, I thought I had one with red, white, and blue guts in it. What's this one? Oh yeah, this one's got red, white, blue guts. So here's a big one with red, white, and blue guts. This is what I've blown for the last few years in the next gen. Kill plenty of geese. Unbelievable sounds. But with the flex guts, you can get softer, quieter, and it got more of a goosey sound. So here's red, white, and blue guts. <laughs> You know, I probably should tune these before I do videos for you guys, so I don't look like a dumbass. I can already tell that one's not quite right. Yeah, ooh, that one's really not. But the red, white, and blue guts, you're going to have a lot of variety. You can get loud, you can, it's going to have that pop, it's going to be loud enough to call them on windy days. <laughs> You can just hear the difference in the sound. This is powerful. This is great for killing geese. This is just a little different sound. More mellow, hollower. Like I said before, it's good to have a little bit of everything on your lanyard, um, or at least have it in your bag so you can switch it out if you need to. Different guts, different calls, every day is different, every situation is different. You could be riding traffic, you could be sitting on the X, you want something real loud and snappy, you could be traveling, being the uh, center flyway, you want something higher pitch. So really to be a well-rounded waterfowler, even if you don't travel, I'd say you need two calls, two goose calls. You want a high pitch call and a low pitch call. And you can run the same guts in them, or you can run different guts in them. That's up to you. Uh, Mr. Big. Here's a Mr. Big with just the gray guts. Again, it's going to kill plenty of geese. It's going to be the most user-friendly set of guts. It's going to be the easiest to blow. It's going to kill plenty of geese. You just don't have that range that an experienced caller is looking for, or somebody that's looking for a different sound. Um, then, like I said, the red, white, and blue guts. I think it's these. Yeah. These aren't really tuned quite right, but. <laughs> going to kill geese. But, go back to the flex gut. Easier to blow, more hollow sound, natural goose sound. So if you're interested in one of these next level calls, it doesn't matter what set of guts you want, what you're, uh, what you're looking for in a call, if you're a beginner or a very experienced caller, 
check them out on the website at www.bigshawnscalls.com.